morning my darlings and welcome to a new vlog we are back home as you can tell we got home late last night from Kefalonia it was crazy because you know how when you are in the air and you're about to descend the pilot tells you the weather where you are arriving to and bearing in mind it's 10 p.m. in the evening when we were landing into Heathrow last night. The pilot tells us that it's still 20, I think he said 25 degrees, which is very, very warm indeed for nighttime in the UK. So we are finally getting to experience the UK heat wave. And just as I mentioned that, the sun comes out, how glorious. So yeah, I won't go on too much about it. I'm sure you've heard it from every UK YouTuber that you follow, but for me, this is all very new. We have been in Kefalonia for the last week where it was pretty stormy. Um, so yeah, I'm very, very excited to be back home again. I've had my perfect morning, took my coffee out into the garden, had a little look at what's grown while we've been away way, did some dahlia picking for in the house. Um, there's lots more gardening that needs to be done. I can see lots of my courgettes have got huge, so lots of things need to be harvested. I feel quite bloated this morning, always the way after a flight. So I'm going to do another of my little um, fluid form at Pilates workouts from the free little 10 day um, reset that I downloaded. So I'm going to go and do that in the gym. I love that the Pilates is right by my Milka chocolate bar, which I would argue is actually the best chocolate in the world. <laughs> Charlie thinks it's Cadbury's, but I would say Milka. Um, yeah, I ate that much on the airplane yesterday. So we've got a 15 minute hand weight session for today's little workout. I thought I need to stick with it now that I'm back home. I've got only three days left of it. It's been really good fun, just short little workouts, which has been perfect while we're on holiday. Got on my bright orange Fanka outfit. Um, and then today is gonna be a really fun day. I've got, I've got quite a lot of new bits to share with you that arrived while we were away. Um, and we are also heading to the Cornbury Horse Trials today. It's gonna be really glorious there in the beautiful sunshine. I've seen so many photos of the horse trials over the week because today's actually the last day, but um, yeah, it's gonna be really good fun. So without further ado, let's get into the gym, do some quick Pilates, and then get ready for the day. darlings that was a glorious workout sometimes I it was literally like 15 minutes it wasn't anything major at all but sometimes I think just the act of dragging one's bottom into the gym to just move is really good for habit setting I still haven't read atomic habits um, but a lot of you commented when I mentioned that I was going to read it you said Josie you already do a lot of those things um, but I will still read it or maybe it's one that's better to listen to but anyway I digress I think just the action of making yourself do a tiny bit of movement every day is just a really good habit to get into that was possibly the best shower <laughs> I've had in months do you know when you just have it wasn't even like the full exfoliate shave pamper shower it was just i really needed this <laughs> kind of shower i said i'm not going to go on about the weather but it is just weird like right now it's full cloud cover as if i didn't get enough of that in kefalonia um but it's 
hot. It's really peculiar. So let me actually show you. I know that the heat wave <laughs> will be well and truly behind us by the time you watch this, but a couple of things that Charlie and I have in the shower that we always reach for after workouts, amazing for on holiday, this little dream team from Elemis. So for the body, if you like something that's very cooling, a little bit kind of tingly, great for after a long day when you just want to feel refreshed or after a workout and your muscles are a bit sore, this is the Elemis Cool Down Body Wash, recharging body wash with magnesium, arnica and birch sap to cleanse, soothe and invigorate. If you ever used to use, I can't remember what it was called, but that, um, uh, it was in like a lime green bottle, like that minty shower wash. You remember everyone used to use that minty shower wash, but <laughs> I know if you're a boy and you got it in places where you shouldn't get tingly shower wash, um, this is not as tingly as that, but it <laughs> really does just feel like you're being invigorated. So that is a gorgeous one for hot days or after an achy day. And on the face, I this is my favorite in shower facial cleanser. It is the Elemis Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. And you apply this onto damp skin and then you get a very light amount of foaming, which is perfect because you feel like you're getting a real cleanse and you get all of the benefits, the anti-aging benefits of the Pro Collagen um, range from Elemis but it's just a fantastic one to have in the shower because you can really just go for it, you know, in ways that you wouldn't necessarily on a sink. I'm sure you guys know what I mean. Luxurious gel cleanser rebalances the skin by reducing excess oils and impurities. Skin is left feeling energized, refreshed, invigorated. Yeah, absolutely love that one. It is a huge favorite for both mine and Charlie's. I'm living life on the edge, talking to you just with my towel tucked underneath. Um, and I'm going to share with you a few of my classic Elemis favourites as well, because super excitingly, I know that you guys get um, very excited when this happens, because Elemis have so kindly extended the discount code again, which will be on the screen here, Josie25, and that will get you 25% off your Elemis favourites. There are a few T's and C's which I'll leave linked down below, but Elemis is one of those brands that I have loved for so many years. Yes, Elemis is a brand that I've adored for so long. They just get that balance perfect between ingredients that are fantastic for the skin, powered by, what's their slogan? Powered by nature, driven by science, or possibly the other way around. But they look at what the natural world and natural ingredients can offer for our skin. For example, with rose, you get the benefits of calming. Within the Pro Collagen Marine Collection, they've looked at how different algae have such incredible anti-aging properties for our skin. But then they've balanced that with science to make sure that all of these products just clinically deliver the most insane results, which is why so many of their products are global multi 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 bestseller award winners the pro collagen marine cream the cleansing balms I feel like I don't even need to I don't even need to explain how amazing they are because so many of you already love them and once you try them even the other day um, obviously one of my bridesmaid gifts to my bridesmaids and bridesmen was a gorgeous personalized tub of the pro collagen marine cream the SPF 30 version which um, we got personalized for the bridal party and we also got one for Charlie's mum and a couple of um, <clears throat> other family members. Three people have said to me in the last week alone, oh my gosh, Josie, Elemis really is the best when it comes to that moisturizer, isn't it? And I've just been like, yep, it really is. Because once you try it, you really realize that it's just a step above the consistency on the skin, the glow that it gives you, the anti-aging benefits that you see straight away and for such a long time afterwards. And oh my gosh, I'm, I'm gushing, <laughs> I'm really gushing. So, Yes, Josie25, 25% 25 discount code, valid for this month. You can use it on so many of your favorites. Another of my favorites, the absolute best of the best, are the under eye patches. Great if you've had a very dehydrating day the day before, such as a flight. I've got another flight this week. Oh, nearly whacked myself in the eyeball. Yeah, I've got another long haul flight this week, which is very exciting. I might actually be on that flight by the time you watch this video. So keep an eye on, oh, keep an eye on my Instagram stories because I shall reveal where I'm going on there before you see it on YouTube. It's an exciting Orama trip, somewhere that I absolutely love and I've not been since before COVID. 
and long haul flights really do require. Under eye love and care, these have got all the benefits of the pro collagen anti-aging brightening benefits in them and you really see a difference so ah defined by nature led by science clinically proven hydrogel eye masks formulated to instantly reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles eye contours are left looking smoother and feeling intensely moisturized leave on for 20 minutes I shall. Um, so I'm gonna leave all of my Elemis favorites linked down below. Um, I don't have that much time to chat this morning because in an hour or so, we're heading over to Cornbury and I need to sort this out. I need to make myself a smoothie. I think I'm gonna do an acai bowl again if I've got the ingredients. Yeah, I'm sure I will do. Um, so yeah, pop these back in the shower and then we'll get cracking with the day. I wonder how many times I flashed you during that chat. I feel like by the time you watch this, as I said, heatwave will be over, so just super quickly. Um, not necessarily heatwave dependent, but when we actually get autumn and we go into bath time, this is mine and Charlie's dream bath time combo. We do use both at the same time. Elemis Aching Muscle Super Soak. This is the best of the best of the best when it comes to achy muscles after a sore workout. Um, and then this one just makes your bath water go really milky and you almost don't need to put body lotion on afterwards because your skin is so hydrated. Skin nourishing bath milk, skin softening bathing milk. This one, this one gives you bubbles. This one makes it go milky. So together you get milky bubbles, smooth skin and achy muscle repair. So yeah, dream team. Dream Team, stock up with the discount code. Right, let's go and get some breakfast. Okay, my darlings, I have just made myself the most delicious kind of almondy, cacao-y, coffee, um, banana smoothie. It was delicious, but I now have a million shards of almond in my teeth. Never mind. So I'm in the process of drying my hair, taking off my eye pack. The Pro Collagen Marine Cream, obviously most well known for its anti-aging benefits. I think it's clinically proven two weeks. You see a visible reduction in fine lines and wrinkles, which is why so many people just repurchase and repurchase and repurchase, which hopefully is why the discount code is super useful. So I'm gonna let that sink into my skin. You can really apply a thick layer and really treat your skin, or you can just do a thinner layer um, and your skin to drink it in straight away and then I will follow with my SPF and pop some makeup on and when I've done that because you don't need to see it because I think this could be a long vlog otherwise I've got some really fun bits that I want to um, kind of open with you and chat through with you and get your opinions before we head over to the horse trials Right, I have done my makeup, just the usual, literally the same as always. Okay, couple of things that I wanted to show you before I do my hair. I'm gonna save that until the last minute. It's so humid that I've wazzed it up into a little top knot. Had to get my <laughs> tweezers out because uh, this is a sign of, of old age, but I had like a whisker <laughs> coming out of my chin. It was about a centimeter long and it was white. And I was so sure that it was part of a makeup brush, um, but no, it was very much attached and it was like a little white, wiry whisker. If I could see it here, I'd show you, but um, it is, it's disappeared. Oh, that's cool, isn't it? Not. Anyway, so I did promise I'd show you some of the lovely deliveries. Um, I had a gorgeous delivery from Miss Sommer Jewelry and they have got a new collection out. Is that meant to be twizzled? No, I don't think so. Um, these are their longest earrings, I believe, that they've ever done. I think they're called, like, shoulder touches or something. As I mentioned somewhat elusively, I've got a very exciting trip next week. Um, literally the evening that you're watching this. And as part of that trip, we have got a very exciting, like glamorous evening so I thought these were quite glamorous earrings they have got little diamonds at the top and then it goes down into little gold droplets so I thought they would be perfect for my special event next week and then also as part of the collection I don't know what the stone is but these have got a little bit of black detailing in them which is very cool indeed and they're a ridged hoop so very very cool I would say yeah, love those. And then a more simple hoop. It's still like ridged and wiggly, almost looks like woven. That's gonna look gorgeous with some knitwear. I just love 
a statement little hoop. I think they're so timeless and elegant. So thank you for those gorgeous new bits from Misma. Had a little stationery delivery from the lovely Katie Loxton team with my new initials. It's this kind of, I would call that an elephant gray um, folio and I love a folio. I like to keep everything super organized. And look at this for someone that loves to make a to-do list. You've got a notepad section in the middle. You've got a little like card organizer. You've got lots of slips. You've got an area for a pen. And then I love that it just pops closed. So that is gonna be a very satisfying thing to have in my handbag. It's so soft. I wonder what other colors that they come in as well. Um, but I love that it's personalized in my new initials. So that's a couple of lovely PR deliveries. Um, now I'm gonna go and get something which I actually ordered and then I will explain to you a little bit of the thinking behind it. So I have been chatting a lot about trainers lately, which feels not very on brand for me at all. I'm not really a trainer person. For someone who just said that they're not a trainer person, I have been going on a major trainer buying spree lately, but these are really seriously not just any trainers and they are not fashion trainers. They are literally the most practical of practical trainers you could possibly imagine. I have purchased three pairs of trainers from a brand called Vivo Barefoot and I have been intrigued by this company for a long time. I think I first heard about this company from um, the podcast I listened to with Dr. Rangan Chatterjee, Live Better, f no, Feel Better, Live More, Live More, I can never remember, Feel, feel Better, Feel, no, Feel Better, Live More, Some, his podcast basically and he says in this podcast he's been wearing them for like 10 years, his whole family wear them. Vivo Barefoot Trainers, they are designed to enable your foot to move as it's designed to move. I've really noticed now that I'm like, you know when you become aware of something, you notice it a lot more. Um, I've noticed a lot of people complaining about their feet and like their foot muscles and especially people of the older generation and I'm just gonna go on Barefoot's Instagram and actually no, do you know whose Instagram who posted about it the other day? My Pilates instructor, Chloe, and I actually used her discount code to buy these, so I'll double check with her. I'm sure she won't mind me sharing her discount code, which is Chloe10, to place an order. Okay, ah, oh, yeah, literally, she's done a reel. Six benefits of wearing barefoot shoes. Um, right, number one, improved foot health. Barefoot shoes promote natural foot movement, allowing your feet to function as they were designed, offering ample toe space and minimal cushioning, encouraging better foot muscle engagement and alignment. Okay, I'm just gonna, I'm sorry if this is very boring, but I actually think it's super interesting and literally impacts everyone. Two seconds. So let's compare against a normal pair of trainers. These are the Saint Laurent ones that I bought last week, like a big heavy sole, and that sole is not gonna move or bend as I walk. So my foot is going to be essentially like clamped into place and I'm not gonna be using any of the movement or muscles or bone intricacies that my foot was designed to do. So that's one place where they're different. Encouraging better foot muscle engagement and alignment. Second benefit of barefoot shoes, enhanced posture and balance. Allows your feet to feel the ground beneath you. Vivo barefoot shoes help improve proprioception and balance, leading to better posture and reduced risk of injuries. Third reason, strengthens your foot muscles. By the way, I'm reading this from Chloe's Instagram post. I might see her later today, um, so we can have a chat about it later at the horse trials. Strengthen foot muscles. Wearing Vivo barefoot shoes challenges your foot muscles, promoting strength and flexibility. Over time, this can lead to more resilient feet and lower limbs. Enhanced sensory experience is number four. With a thin, flexible sole, Vivo Barefoot Shoes allows you to connect with the ground, providing a richer sensory experience and a closer connection to nature. That's one thing that I wish these shoes were, which they're not. They're not grounding shoes, so you're not grounding as you're wearing them. I've spoken a little bit about grounding in the past, how it's um, great to be physically, like, physically connected with nature, whether it's in a, uh, a lake or just touching the grass or even just touching a tree, good to connect with nature. And so there are shoes which will ground you so you don't have this big chunky sole preventing you from actually touching the earth. But I don't 
I don't believe these are actually grounding shoes. Fifth reason, reduced impact on joints. The minimalist design of Vivo barefoot shoes encourages a more natural and softer landing, reducing the impact on your joints during exercises like walking, running or exercising. And the sixth reason, eco-friendly materials. Many Vivo barefoot shoes are made from sustainable and eco-friendly materials. Ooh, okay, so lots of reasons to wear barefoot shoes. A lot of people um, develop, is it called plantar fasciitis? And I think these are meant to really help um, prevent that or help symptoms of it. By the way, I'm not affiliated with me though, Bertha, in any way. I just think it's really interesting. Yay, blue skies are coming. Um, I mean, you can see how much movement you get in, in the sole of these shoes. So I ordered, oh, it says made from recycled materials. Let me get my receipt up because I ordered three different pairs. I had the intention of returning a couple of them, but I might not even return. Vivo Barefoot UK, right. Your package is on its way. What did I order? Okay, Primus Light 3 Women's. Primus Light 3 are our most versatile training Vivos, so you can wear these in the gym. Made for moving naturally, growing strong through wide-ranging training disciplines, perfect for experienced barefoot cross trainers and those new to barefoot performance. Primus outsole enables you to get as close to the ground as possible. Made from 98% recycled PU foam, um, animal free, super lightweight, blah, blah, blah. Okay, oh, you have a 100 day free trial on those. So these are probably the ones that I think look the nicest. They're just very, very simple kind of shoes you probably wanna wear around the house. They, they look quite futuristic, like they're quite, they are quite plasticky, um, but they feel very breathable and yeah, super duper lightweight. The next pair, these are called the Motus, Motus Strength. Now I think these are more gym shoes. The first ever zero drop barefoot strength training footwear, new part of the new pinnacle performance range, made for moving naturally during high impact workouts. Okay, with added protection that doesn't sacrifice barefoot feel, lengthen your health span and unlock your supernatural potential. Wowza, that is quite a promise from a trainer. Have to say, they are a little bit less um, visually beautiful. I think they're a little bit more like large web-like webbed foot kind of vibe maybe to suit people that do have wider feet I don't know I'll try them on I got them all in my usual size you've got like a knitted section and then this little like loopy section yeah they look a little bit like they look more like practical trainers as opposed to fashion trainers which I would say that first pair look like and then perhaps the most peculiar looking are these now these are kind of suede -y. And I wanted something a bit different, so I got them in this pinky colour. Okay, so reading from the website, a multi-terrain barefoot trainer combining city styling with an outdoor sole. Yeah, this is definitely the grippiest of the soles. I think these are meant to be more of like a fashion trainer. Um, am I going to end up returning all of the other trainers that I've bought before our holiday? Maybe, but... Yeah, so I'm gonna be trying these out with various outfits over the next um, couple of weeks or so. Oh, funnily it says Michelin at the bottom as in like Michelin tires. Maybe that's what the bottom is made from the recycled version of. These feel like they've got a lot more structured soles, so I'll be in intrigued to see how they feel. But yeah, something that I'm really intrigued by. Um, I When I was reading about it on Chloe's Instagram post, it was literally as a result of Charlie's mum talking about all of her foot problems and her personal trainer, who she's quite new to training with, um, was saying that she needs to look at a kind of barefoot shoe option. And then I was like, oh, my Pilates instructor Chloe has been talking about Vivo Barefoot. So then I read Chloe's post, we were chatting about it for a while, and um, yeah, Charlie's mum also placed a big order and she's going to be wearing them for both training and around the house. So yeah, there we go, that's my little order of barefoot shoes. I hope Charlie's not too far away because we said we were going to leave to get to the horse trials at half past 11. It's now 11.45 and he's not home yet, I need to do my hair and decide what I'm going to wear. So I'm going to get cracking with that, hopefully his lordship will arrive home will arrive home any second and then we can hit the road. Horse 
trials and I found some beautiful ladies. Bonjour, Hello, darling. Hi, everybody. And we're all very confused because it was pouring with rain and now it's glorious sunshine. But we are um, heading out in a mixture of old and new defense. Where are we actually going? We are going to the water jump yeah. right yeah. at the top. Yeah. Okay. Water jump and the Murray Chandon tent. We're heading for champagne. Luckily, I'm with the ladies that actually uh, know a lot about horse riding and show jumping and everything that's going on today. So I'm relying on your knowledge. Okay. We've, left, we've left the boys behind. We have. They, yeah, they've the all just made trip. best of friends, They're which is the wonderful. Mojo Dojo Castle House on their own. <laughs> talking all things exactly. manly. Bab. Talking yeah. man. Eating meat. Yeah. Spitting. <laughs> oh, punching. charming. All the manly things. All the manly yes. things. And the arm. The horses are warming up. So you've always got a cross pole, a vertical, and an oxer. A cross pole? The cross pole. <laughs> it's like the little cross that they've got with the balls. The cross. Cross poles. Oh, cross poles. <laughs> This is rather glorious. We've just had a defender bring us through the gorgeous Cornbury estate. We're now at the top of um, top of the estate on this beautiful hill. There is an airstream behind serving Chandon Spritz, I believe, and there are a few uh, water jumps in front of us so we can watch the horses and their riders as they come through. I'm so happy that the sun is shining again. It was pouring with rain earlier, um, but now I've just got the most incredible vista. Blue skies, gorgeous sunny temperature. Oh, it's just stunning. Look at this beautiful setup. Okay, up to and over the uh, left rail at 11. Just to call out, so under five minutes past for the prize getting uh, of the junior two star class section cube. Ooh. 3.50 So there's also some really lovely stalls here. There's lots of local businesses. This is the Cornbury House Honey Collection. Very good for your hay fever to have local honey in your tea or on your yogurts in the morning. Oxford, I love that, Helen's local honey. So sweet. We found Phil and Hannah and the little ones who are intrigued by all the bees. Jeremy Clarkson's Diddley Squat Farm Shop. Let's see, we've got some chutneys, some souvenirs. <laughs> Very cute. Speed and power. What have you found, my darling? I'm swooning over a scalloped edge. We do love a scallop neckline, so Alex Gore. Alex Gore Brown. This is beautiful. The quality feels like almost nothing in your hand. And they've got a baby pink version. Oh, we could have match. Oh, how sweet. <laughs> Look, it's got a little kind of bib detail. How fabulous. I can't help but be intrigued about this horse party bus. We're going to go and take a little look. We found Bertie. We're going to take a look inside the truck. Apparently it's for horses, but I think it could be quite fun for humans too. And sausage dogs. Very cool to see inside the ultimate luxurious horse box. This is the living area, little dining room. You've got the driving area. You've got a wine fridge. You've got a TV. Look at this. So where do the horses go? So the horses transport in here. You've got all the, all the stalls. Oh my gosh, how many horses could you fit in here? One, 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 back home back with my little boys and it is the most gorgeous evening lovely and warm we've got a gorgeous glow a golden glow to the herbaceous border which hasn't been watered in a week and yet it's still actually looking amazing we've got the honorine anemone salvia chocolate cosmos as modeled by dicky i can't believe how everything looks so luscious after a week of no water. Incredible. Let me show you, pop my bits down, the state of my courgettes. <laughs> 
I didn't wear this hat at the horse trials, but I had it in the car and just popped it on to walk back to the house. It's growing on me. What do you think, Dexy? Does mummy look dorky? Very dorky, mummy. Come on, mummy, let me show you my pumpkins. We actually need to do a bit of harvesting because the courgettes are rather ginormous. I'm not sure if any new ones will grow. <laughs> Look at my baby sat there posing. Yeah, I'm not sure if any new ones will grow now or if it's a little bit too late in the season, but this one, <laughs> I don't actually think this will be edible. It's too big. Looks almost like a pumpkin, but my eight ball courgette has got rather huge. Do you know what? I'm actually starting to doubt myself because this really does look like a pumpkin plant and this is starting to change colour. Have I been eating these as little eight ball courgettes and the whole time they've actually been pumpkins? If anyone can tell me, please do, because, yeah, I'm now thinking it might be a pumpkin. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. And then over here, we have got some monstrous courgettes. Wow, I don't even know if I can eat these. They are so humongous. <laughs> Rude. Monstrous courgettes. There's a couple of good sized ones in there as well. Can you see that one there? And then we've got another <laughs> very rude looking courgette down here. I'm half tempted just to leave this one and let this be my comedy courgette of the year. My goodness, that is so heavy. Yeah, I'm gonna leave this one and let this just be my giant joke courgette. We've got, ooh, we've got a nice pumpkin down there might actually be one of my only pumpkins this year because I accidentally severed the lifeline of these two so that was starting to rot already. I knew the second I'd done it I realised I'd cut the wrong um, vine. We've got a couple of good size gold rush zucchini in there which I can come and harvest for a pasta dish tomorrow. Okay so this is my loot for this afternoon loads of raspberries in bloom. I definitely need to go blackberry picking probably tomorrow as well. Ooh, and lots of tomatoes. We can have these with our dinner. Perfect. My goodness how fabulously tempting does that look are you ready to be harvested oh yes if it comes off easily it's ready so many I knew this would happen the second we go away on holiday everything ripens apparently you don't leave tomatoes in the fridge you leave them on the side of the kitchen if you want them to continue ripening look at that my goodness I think I need to make a tomato focaccia this next couple of days. Oh my goodness me, what a perfect looking tomato. I bet they taste so much better than the supermarket varieties. Organically grown in the Cotswolds. Yummy. Not a bad little haul for today. Now from veggie haul to fashion haul, I've got a mango delivery that I'm gonna head inside and unbox with you. Bunny, are you sunbathing? Come on, let's go back inside. I was just filming some flower montages, but Charlie has got a very exciting unboxing to share with us. Never thought I would say that my obsession... What was my obsession when I was growing up? Power Rangers. Well, no, I just mean when I was 
like a teenager what I spend all my money on. Probably going out. Alcohol. <laughs> now, I spend money on gardening things and cooking things. And this is a new knife. From Savanaki. Like, it's actually Savanak, oh. apparently. Who told you Savanac that? Savanak Forest. Oh, right. Um, in Wiltshire, I believe. Wiltshire? Yeah. I thought it was in Japan. No. So this is the thing. They're, they're wow. British made. So in the same way as, um, and I've bought this by the way, I've not been sent it. <laughs> not hashtag APR. Um, same way Blenheim Forge are British made knives in a Japanese way. Right. These are British made knives in a Japanese way, but different brand. So the wood is from the Savanac Forest. Yes. The only thing is I actually, I need to Google how I sharpen this because I think I might be able to sharpen this with a honing rod, which is what you use on Western knives, rather than a whetstone, which is what you use on Japanese knives. But anyway, guess what this is called? The chopper. The chopper? The mini chopper. <laughs> um, <laughs> because it's literally for chopping things. So but would I chop carrots useful. with it? Yes. This is a really versatile knife and I've wanted it for a while, but you custom design them. So you choose your wood type, you choose no the way. colour. That could be, I like the more classic ones, but that could be a red, it could be orange. Looks you know like our floorboards. There. Yeah. So it's going to go on the knife block. Do you want to come show off all my other lovely knives? Oh, I can't move. I've got a can't sausage. Make. I can't move. It's illegal to move when you've got a sausage dog leaning on you. Is, does anyone else do this in their household? I just can't physically bring myself to move when I've got a, a baby leaning on me. I'm in love with you, you smelly animal. I'm in love with you. Are you in a quandary? Yeah. The first one probably. I don't know if it's going to go on there because it could go instead of that one. But I think it looks better with that wood. Oh, and I that's don't know. Useful. No, I don't know. I don't like the lighter wood. Do you not? So you think that looks better? That's more like a fancy knife collection. I like that they're not all the same. Yeah, mostly different brands. So this is an Italian one, Florentine, and it's just a pairing knife. So it's super. This you would you could use for many many things. It's kind of you go up in versatility, to be honest. Right. So that's an Italian brand. Yeah. Savanac, as we've just discussed, British brand. Yeah. Blenheim Forge, as is this one, mm -hmm. and they are made in Peckham, Peckham. Uh, but in a Japanese way. So they're like folded steel. I think that's Western steel. I need to check this. This is a really local one. It's a Cotswold brand. I can't remember the name, but it's a Cotswold knife guy. Uh, what's he called? It's called like Dan Prendergast or something. Cool. Um, so he makes them in a forge. Um, this is Nuwaki, which is the gardening brand we use. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and this is also Savanac. So basically, this is all the knives you would ever need because that's a carving knife. Mm -hmm. That is a sort of smaller carving knife that you can use. That is called a Nakiri, mm -hmm. uh, which is like for chopping as well. It's almost a bigger version of that. And then that is a chef's knife. And that is also a pair knife. They Fascinating, mate. Me. And then we still have, this is why I have, have got a little bit of a problem. <laughs> my knife drawer. Why do you oh, need yeah, so many knives? knives in, sorry? Why do you need so many knives? I mean, I just think they're beautiful to cook with. They're such a, like a key component of cooking. Mm. And yeah, I have a bit of an unhealthy obsession with that. Cool. There we go. Cool story, bro. Right, Dexy, should we go and try on Mummy's mango pieces? Been waiting all day, Mummy. Oh, I've got something to unload from the washing machine. Oh, you're such a lovely. Is this what we're having for dinner? Such a lovely dog. Parpadelli. We saw them at Cornbury, didn't we? Yeah. Were they serving pasta there? Uh, I think they were serving pasta, I hope. And they were obviously also selling the subscription. That's where we first found out about it, wasn't it? When they did a pop up. Strawberry. Yeah, I just think they're really nice plants to have in the house. I just think they look pretty. Yeah. Do you reckon like... it'll fruit in here? Mm, it doesn't get sun, does it? No. But we've got so many strawberry plants, haven't we? Do we reckon this is a slightly unripe pumpkin or an overripe eight ball courgette? Pumpkin. I've, I've been eating them all yes. summer I'm as courgettes. I'm that's a pumpkin. Oh, yeah. oh. I've been eating them like courgettes all summer. What's up, Dickie Dick? Daddy, don't. Lovely boy. He's just a tiny little doggy with an exceptionally no, fluffy I'm bottom. Off. I'm off, I've had enough. I've had enough. Have you shown everyone on your YouTube channel? So this is the key, a little tip for anyone getting a sausage dog, is they need multiple areas, maybe this applies to most dogs, but multiple areas to chill out and relax. This is and Dickens' this is Dickens' little hiding place, spot. isn't it? But he won't go there if we're not home. No. He's not gone there. No, he's just chilling in the corner. You are so exceptionally sweet and small. And you are so handsome. You're so good looking. I would marry you if I could. 
Okay, my darlings, made it up to the dressing room. I'm becoming rather attached to the hat. I will take it off momentarily. Um, I'm actually just afraid how flat my hair might be when I do. Anyway, so I have got my mango order. I actually have got into a weird habit of placing online orders when I'm sat on the runway um, about to take off. <laughs> I did a mango order on the way out and I did a net -a porter order on the way back. I've got a feeling we have got three of the same item in here, a very versatile item in three different colors um, and a couple of other bits and bobs as well. So let's have a little look. I can't remember the last time I placed a mango online order. It has been a little while. You get um, a full carrier bag shopping experience. That's quite nice. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> I just love having this wheelie poof. Okay, uh, what's this? What I may do is give everything a steam and then um, film some trial bits a little bit later. So first of all, we have got this dress, which looks like a silky kind of wrap dress in this olive green color. This looks rather beautiful. I'm gonna give this a try. Um, probably I might actually film the try on clips tomorrow and just insert them in amongst these vlog clips. So I'll give it a try and we'll go into the future and I'll show you how this looks on. Hello my darlings, Josie from the future here. I hope the breeze is not um, bothering the camera too much. I've got the window open and the Dyson fan is having a moment because I just dared to spray perfume near it. So hopefully the background noise isn't too cray cray. Um, ignore my hair, just on Pilates. It's pulled back. Ignore that, let's look at the dress. So color, 10 out of 10, I love it. I feel like it's the perfect olivey kind of tone for um, autumn yes we're using that word a lot it's it's not very forgiving um i would say one very much needs to be considerate of the underwear that you choose with this because i mean i'm wearing what i thought was a not that liney kind of thong but there are a lot of lines on my bottom so you really need very spelt underwear with this I do love a wrap style dress. I think they're very flattering. I think the sleeves are a great length. It looks like silk, but it's not silk because it would have been a lot more expensive if it is. Um, I like the fact that you can do a little tie at the back there and it's got a very pretty little ruffle bottom. Let's pop on some shoes. This is a little pair of mules that I got from Matt and Other Stories and I thought they'd be very practical and versatile. Um, haven't actually tried them on yet. Oh, they're quite wide, but comfortable. So the dress has got almost like um, a V opening. The ruffle starts here along ooh, the entire wrap, which is a very feminine design detail. This would be a really nice workwear dress for autumn if you work somewhere that's maybe a little bit smarter. Um, yeah, I really like it. I don't know how much use I have personally for it though. Um, I think if I still my old marketing job in London then I would keep this and you could also wear like brown or black tights with this when the weather starts to cool down yeah I really like it but I personally don't think I'm gonna get that much wear out of it so I'm gonna return this but if you've got a fairly smart job that you could wear something like this to work then I would keep it that is my um, synopsis Okay, so this next piece I can try on right now without having to change outfit. I have been on the lookout for a lovely cardigan that I can just fling on over the top of summer dresses. As you may recall, I did order a, uh, not Gucci, a Mez cardigan. Um, and I was umming and ahhing about keeping it, but it was just stupidly expensive. This I actually prefer. It does need a bit of a steam actually, it's got a little bit creased, um, but it's just a super simple cardigan. The material I think is wool, let's have a little look. We don't want it to be polyester. Yes, 100% cashmere, amazing. Very elegant silhouette, you've got a nice big kind of lapel, just very classic, ribbed detail around the sleeves. Little pocket detail, this is absolutely perfect. Very warm, actually too warm for right now, but um, yeah, just such a great little wardrobe staple. That is exactly what I was looking for. I feel like it wasn't um, a crazy price either. Mango, I think, is 
fairly fair when it comes to their knitwear prices. Okay, now this is the item that I ordered three of in different colours, and it is a, I'm going to tilt you down a bit, it is a long line cardigan because I quite literally live in long line cardigans, anything that remotely resembles a dressing gown I live in during the cooler months because this house, you just want to feel cozy. I know it's been 27 degrees today. Okay, I'm already in love with this. This is the most obscure color. This is the olive green. I think I've got it in a biscuit and a white as well. You've got nice deep pockets, really just comfy and cozy for popping on over a dress. I love things that make my outfits cozy and I know in autumn and winter as well, imagine just wearing, if you get a little bit warm while you're working, if you like to work in say leggings and a tank top and then you just want something that is like a dressing gown robe but um, a bit more socially acceptable, then this is perfect. Um, I think again these are a pretty good price and thinking about the price per wear, I know that I will get a lot of use out of these. You can see the colour, this one is like an olive green. Again, too warm to think about wearing this right now, but uh, let's try on the other colors. Uh, sizing wise, I got extra small and it appears that they are a little bit naturally oversized. This one I think is a very versatile color. Shame that they are quite creased, um, but I feel like just leaving them out of the box for 24 hours, the creases will probably drop out. Again, it's just like a dressing gown, but a cardigan version. I wear long line cardigans a lot when, even if it's been a warm day and then suddenly it gets a little bit chilly in the evenings. And if we're hosting friends and we're dining outside, I'll go and grab one of these. Yeah, I, I'm sure you guys will have seen me wearing long line cardigans a lot. I just love them, they're so cozy. Are they a little bit grannyish? Maybe, but I don't care, I just like to be cozy. I like the fact that you've got almost like a jacket lapel, but then it twists into being a single hem, if you know what I mean. And then you've got the pockets. Yeah, very creased, but imagine it having relaxed, not being in the box for a little while. Yeah, this is absolutely perfect. A nice length as well. And then you've got a little split in the seam down the back there. So that's the biscuit colour. So we've got biscuit, olive, and I'm hoping we've got white. It's actually more of an oatmeal than a pure white. I know it seems excessive keeping all three of these, but and I was not intending on keeping all three, but I actually think I will because they are so, as I said, versatile, the kind of things that I do wear all the time. To be honest, if anything, this is probably my least favourite and I thought this would be my most favourite. They are slightly brushed material-wise on the inside, so really nice and soft on the inside. Again, lovely lapel, it needs the creases to drop out a little bit. It's kind of like a shacket, a sh no, um, like a cross between a robe and a coat. A rote. <laughs> a cobe. Should we call them cobes? They're like a coat robe. But yeah, again, it's the kind of thing that I wear all the time when it gets a little bit nippy in the evenings. Love them. I know I'll get a lot of wear out of those. And I can't remember the rest of the bits that I ordered, so let's have a little look. Ooh! Again, something I'm going to have to try on tomorrow to show you because I'm too tired and hungry to do it right now. But I do love a little vest top. This is a polo neck vest top, really cute, tucked in some high-waisted jeans maybe. And we have got the same here but in the biscuit colour and I got these in a size extra small. Great for this time of year when it's still a little bit warm, you maybe still want to have your arms out um, but you want to start wearing knitwear to feel a bit more autumnal. Okay, this next outfit, obviously the new bit from Mango is the um, a roll neck knit. I feel like this is an Instagram outfit but not necessarily one that I feel that comfortable in for day to day. I'm very much aware by the way that the jeans still have their tag on because I'm going to just try a few different ways of wearing them to see if they work for my wardrobe. Um, yeah, I feel like from certain angles this is a flattering outfit. I like the top by the way, we're now talking about the outfit as a whole. Um, the top is lovely, it's a really nice like armhole size, which I know is a really weird thing to say. It's also not itchy in the slightest, which is so important when you've got 
this proximity of fabric to neck. Weirdly quite creasy um, for a piece of knitwear. I feel like I need to steam these pieces and I wouldn't normally steam knitwear. Yeah, let's just talk about the jeans, which is a little bit um, off kilter. I think if I had five inch longer legs, I would absolutely love this outfit, but I feel like it's only actually flattering when I'm on tiptoes. I don't know, I just find footwear that I wear with denim very challenging. Um, and maybe it's just seeing all of these pictures of people looking really cool wearing jeans on Instagram. They obviously choose to post the flattering ones, like lean forward a little bit so your hips look smaller and do these certain positions with your legs. I just feel a bit hippie when I wear jeans. I don't know, maybe that's just how I'm feeling at the moment. Um, I do like the fit of these, they're very comfortable, they're a super dark wash, but footwear wise, is this when I would finally actually wear my St. Laurent trainers? But now that I'm learning about the benefits of barefoot shoes, I don't know if I want to wear shoes with such a big solid sole, because that's just not really that good for your feet. I don't know, sometimes I feel like I learn about things too quickly and I let it impact every aspect of my life. Maybe that's a little bit OTT. Let's see how these... <laughs> Okay, to be fair, I do actually really like how this looks and I feel like the trainers are roomy enough that I can still like move my toes, my feet don't feel too compressed, which is what one of the things I was listening about barefoot shoes. That's why, by the way, wow, this is like the most digressy um, inserted trial clip ever, but that's why they are wider at the top so that your feet are not like all condensed in. So yeah, there is a reason for that kind of funky shape. Um, yeah, obviously these big YSL trainers, they are very flat footed so you're not able to move the muscles in your foot as much, which is not as good for you, but they do look quite cool. I need your advice with this outfit, I really need your opinions. Um, yeah, I think if I was a tiny bit taller and, I don't know, not sure, does it make me look a little bit stumpy? So it's very much three parts, like block one, block two, and then the feet, which is not that elongating. I'm used to choosing outfits which are, are a bit more flattering. And finally, a question about the shoes. Are you meant to wear socks when you wear this kind of trainer? Because it feels like I should, and yet equally I think that's gonna make them look dorky. And the whole point is that we're trying to look cool. So your advice would be, very much requested but the whole reason that we're here is to talk about the top um and the top <laughs> gets a big thumbs up from me and i actually feel like i like the white or the light colored one even more it's a little bit sheer i feel like you can see my bra a little bit more in this one um but generally i do like to have light colors up top because i think it's quite flattering uh, are these actually cashmere because they really are so soft and not itchy in a way I think it's probably not a natural material because of how soft it is yeah polyester and acrylic 4% wool which normally I admit I'm a bit snobby about polyester um, but I have to say it can be softer if you're gonna have it up around your neck all day and this with it being sleeveless they're obviously not the kind of things that you're wearing necessarily for warmth you're wearing for the visual um, so yeah big fan of these two little vest tops and I shall definitely be keeping them <laughs> It really feels so weird showing you all of this lovely knitwear. This is 100% cashmere um, when it's been such a toasty day. This is a regular fit cashmere roll neck and it's just in the most beautiful kind of bubblegum Barbie pink colour. Really pretty shade, super versatile. I call these my building blocks of an autumn wardrobe. So yeah, love that. Now this long sleeve um, roll neck, I'm not sure if this looks good with jeans. I think it was more flattering when we had the flesh of the arms on show. And I would not be surprised if this has a higher percentage of natural fabric. Yeah, 100% cashmere, because this is actually a little bit itchy. And once you get used to the softness of Lily Silk cashmere, I'm not sure that I would reach for this over one of my Lily Silk roll necks. Um, and given the price, with it being cashmere, I think I will return this. But 
yeah most of these pieces i'm very very happy with the sleeveless knits super thrilled with um but this is just just a tad too itchy it's it's actually not that itchy i'm just being a real first spot uh i just know that that would probably prevent me from grabbing it when i've got other lowly silk cashmere bits which are softer so there we go okay back to real time josie so those are all the bits that i got from mango that's everything i would say that's a pretty successful haul now i do actually have loads more pieces um that i have ordered and are new in from brands that i work with so i'm thinking i might make thursday's video a full-on fashion video like a stocking up my wardrobe for autumn with gorgeous new pieces so let me know if you'd like to see that yeah i will Mm, actually no I won't even see your comments before I have to film it because I might have to film that tomorrow anyway I'm just planning out loud I am actually going to wear my new little barefoot trainers around the house this evening I'm so intrigued to try them and see what they feel like okay first impressions of Vivo barefoot footwear So the thing that I'm originally finding a little bit strange is actually like the big toe area. Like, do you see what I mean? They're a little bit skewiffed in that direction. And now that I've got it on, my big toe is here. Can you see? It's like nowhere near the end of the shoe. There's a good almost inch between where my toe is and the end of the shoe. I'm wondering why they engineered it that way. Do some people have like most shoes go quite pointed in the middle, but then that is what they were saying, like they don't want to compress your feet. But I think we've just become so accustomed to shoes that go into a little point at the end that this feel, oh, I've got the wrong shoe on. Oh, make sure you wear a matching pair, Doris. Yeah, I think that's gonna take a little bit of getting used to from a visual point of view. Okay. I mean, obviously very dorky, the fact that I'm trying them on with socks, but let's have a look. They just look a little bit dorky, don't they? Like my toe, my big toe is here, not here, which is a little bit strange. Um, I think, I feel like they're the kind of shoe that you're just gonna have to like get used to how they look. They just look a little bit webbed footed to me. I kind of hoped that they would look a little bit more normal, but maybe that's just, that's just what we've become accustomed to, like toes that go in and squash our feet if anyone knows the scientific reason why they're this shape please let me know because it does look a little bit peculiar but yeah maybe it's just because i'm not used to it they do feel as though i could roll in a little bit in them um which is something that i used to do as a child when wearing ugg boots which is not ideal but if they're good for my feet then i feel like i need to give them a try so yeah i'm gonna wear them around the house this evening and i will let you know my thoughts I'm just about to start taking my makeup off for the evening and just wanted to share my view with you. It's got a lot browner and more autumnal since we went away on holiday, but still the most beautiful view. This gets me very excited for autumn in the Cotswolds. Dinner is served. We are eating pasta while watching Stanley Tucci talk about pasta. A bit of pecorino on the top. Looks like what we're eating as well. Yum yum. Okay, my darlings, you're in the cupboard. I look so shiny and that's because I put an oil on my skin a couple of hours ago. It's now pitch black outside and it feels like vlogmas. I'm not gonna lie. Wow, this is not flattering in the slightest. Don't vlog in the dark with oil on my face. Anyway, I want... I'm sorry, I can't get over how ridiculous I look. I'm gonna end the vlog with a little first impressions because this arrived in the post um, while we were away. It is the new Elemis, sorry, awful lighting, wowzer, this is shocking. Elemis Pro Collagen Green Fig, there's a silhouette of it, Green Fig Cleansing Balm and I love the sound of this. My battery is flashing, it's all meant to end right now. Oh my gosh. Oh, that almost smells like sweets. That smells heavenly, but I couldn't end this vlog with an Elemis discount code. Oh my gosh, I've just accidentally made a smiley face. Can you see? <laughs> um, 
yes, I couldn't possibly end a vlog with an Elemis discount code without trying out their new launch. So this is the Green Fig Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. Everything that we know and love about the Pro Collagen Cleansing Balm. It takes off your makeup, melts any oils, melts away makeup and impurities and all of the things that might have ended up on our face during the day melts away pollution you get the anti-aging benefits that i was talking about earlier and oh my gosh this smells so good wow oh i don't know which is my favorite i wonder if this is going to be um like a limited edition like the neroli or if it'll become more permanent like the rose i don't know but that smells gorgeous if you are a lover of the pro collagen cleansing balm mm add one of these to your basket. I'm gonna end the vlog here, my darlings, with a heavenly facial massage with this on my skin. When they give you an Elemis facial and they massage your face when this is on your skin, it's just the best bit. They do like a proper kneading. Mm. I'm gonna try and recreate that. So I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog, my darlings. Everything that I've mentioned will be linked down below. It's been such a gorgeous day. Spent so much time with such gorgeous, wonderful ladies and gentlemen at the Combrae um, Horse Trials. Can't wait for next year. It was such a fabulous day. I feel like I didn't really um, sum that up, but yeah, it was just an amazing day. Such a great group of ladies there. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next vlog, which might be a very exciting one. No, there'll be one more and then there'll be an exciting one. The next one will be fun too, but yeah. Anyway, I'm rambling. Okay, I'll see you soon. Good night.